Hello and welcome to F1 Livery Histories, the channel where we take a look back at the different paint jobs, racing trims and sponsor decals adopted by respective Formula 1 teams throughout the eras. Today we'll be covering a short-lived team which spent its Formula 1 incumbency in close association with fellow Japanese constructors Honda, becoming a team recognised for grooming up-and-coming Japanese F1 talent, as well as its partnerships with numerous Japanese industries. Super Aguri The Super Aguri Formula 1 team was established by ex-Formula 1 driver Aguri Suzuki in 2005, commencing operations out of the old Arrows facility in Leafield. Having gained significant support from carmakers Honda, Super Aguri would establish an intimate technical partnership with their compatriot team, as they ran with Honda Power and employed Honda-backed driver Takuma Sato as its number one driver. Having had its official entry granted by the FIA in early 2006, Super Uguri was now poised to make its entry into the world of Formula 1. Super Uguri would hit the track in 2006 with its prototype chassis, the Mike Coughlin and Mark Preston designed SA05, a reworked version of the Arrows A23 chassis which along with its Honda V8 engines also utilised Japanese fuel and rubber in Enios and Bridgestone. With Japanese drivers Takuma Sato and Yuji Ide filling the team's seats, Super Uguri became the sport's very first all-Japanese team. Super Uguri would also generate sponsorship from a variety of Japanese companies, most notable of which being fashion brand Samantha Kings, which appeared on the car's engine case in monocoque. Honda branding was also prevalent on the car, visible on the engine case and rear wing. Having such a strong connection with its home country, it was only natural for Super Aguri to paint its cars red and white, with the team's own logo coming into use for the livery's main design motif. The car would also feature additions of black, which was in keeping with both Honda and Bridgestone company branding. It was at Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix, when Super Aguri would first race with the SA06 chassis. The car now featured a much busier livery that once again showcased the team's colours and logos in an artistic manner. In 2007, Super Aguri would compete with the SA07, a car which was a redesign of the RA106 chassis used by Honda in the previous season. The team landed backing from oil and gas company SS United Group, which took up residency on the car's rear wing, side pods and airbox, whilst the car's red and white design was slightly reworked for the new season. As the season progressed, the team would sign new deals with a further set of Japanese companies such as Four Leaf, Autobax and Pioneer, which replaced the outgoing and defaulting SS United Group. Despite the questions surrounding the SA07, the car would prove to be Super Aguri's most successful entry, with points earned by Takuma Sato at the Spanish and Canadian rounds of the season, helping Super Aguri finish in ninth position in the Constructors' Championship. The following season, the team would race with the SA08, which was a car once again derived from the previous season's Honda. Black became a more prominent shade on the car, and the team's colours were altered into horizontal panels which formed a V at the front of the vehicle. With numerous difficulties being placed on the team financially, Super Aguri's future began to look doubtful, and things would take a turn for the worse after a proposed takeover of the team by the Italian Magma Group failed to materialise. The team arrived in Turkey for the fifth round of the 2008 season, but was denied entry to the circuit, reportedly due to Honda Racing CEO Nick Fry informing the race organisers that Super Aguri would not be taking part. And so, within the blink of an eye, Super Aguri ceased to operate as a Formula 1 outfit, having lost the support of Honda in the face of mounting debts, though the small yet popular backmarker is still fondly remembered by many Formula 1 observers.